Hey everybody, Doc here. Welcome back to Lab Ventures Island, home of the Pirate King, where last time we worked on those bridges over there, the ones that lead all the way over to the Pirate King's fortress. Well, this time I'm going to focus on the docks here on the main island, the tall one up there, which, uh, well, I thought maybe we'd start with a stone port, work our way around change from stone over to wood and you'll see come on come on out this okay so as you pull back you'll see me starting to lay the foundation for the stone walkway and what I wanted to do was to hug the natural contours of the island here now I'll probably come back later off camera and uh, anchor the foundations all the way down to the bedrock but um, uh, not yet what I wanted to do was uh, make this more interesting for you so I decided to work with two types of things here stone or more accurately stone brick and all the variants of it as well as uh, what you see here which is the quartz another quartz to be precise so with those two things in mind and the idea behind working with a palette of things that I can mirror across the island later, I decided to go ahead and create this little pathway here, this walkway, to lead over to what's going to become a, well, let's call it temple. Uh, you might think of it as kind of a Mayan temple here in the Caribbean that has been converted into a Spanish mission. but. Mm, these are pirates, so there's really no telling what kind of weird practices they have here. All right, so one of the things that I wanted to do, like I said, was to create sort of a palette for the rest of the island. Uh, that's color choices as well as designs that I can echo throughout. And so one of the things I decided to do was to use these half blocks and uh, kind of make an interesting pattern here. Once that was done, I started working on the foundation of the temple. Now, I spent a lot of time on the temple here. I wanted to make sure that it looked like I wanted it to look. So you'll see me making some changes, but um, for the most part, I laid out the footprint that I wanted, and then I just added to it and took away from it, kind of sculpting it as I went. Now, over here, I decided to put stairs leading to the bottom level. So you can get to the top level by going through that well, let's call it the basement of the temple. Okay, so as I came around, I decided that all of the things at the bottom would have that sort of mossy brick. And then as I moved up, it would move away from mossy brick into a combination of crack, cracked brick and uh, just uh, stone and that sort of thing. All right, so with that first floor done, it's time to move up. Now, I wanted it to kind of bevel out and be a little bigger on the top part than it was on the bottom part. So the easiest way to do that was, well, upside down stairs. So I used those upside down steps and actually brought the whole thing out by one brick. And it gave it this really great effect that I was looking for. Also, by using the chiseled stone, I was able to bring in a little bit of uh, texture. So, as you can see here, uh, I'm playing with that. I'm just kind of sculpting it to make sure that the whole thing doesn't have a flat look. Because I really hate it whenever you build something and it's just, well, it's just flat bricks. One great way to do this is to make it too thick, but, oh, that is two blocks thick. Uh, but, but another way to do it is to use blocks that have uneven textures. They, they're already uh, kind of chiseled in and, and things like that. And whenever you're close up it looks really good but you've got to make sure that you look at it from far away too so if you bring it out every couple of bricks and you make sure you have window sills and things like that you can really get a, a cool kind of an effect uh, just by combining things that uh, like these are all well, basically brick but different shapes of brick um, so anyway, you see me experimenting with some things, experimenting with colors, and ultimately coming up with a little bit of cobblestone in the middle, uh, just to kind of give it a different texture and offset it. Once I was finally happy with the way that second floor looked, I put the roof on. 
Okay, so making a few cosmetic changes here and there, it's time for that third floor. Now the third floor, you can't get to in a normal way. And I'll show you a little bit more of that in a second. But what I wanted this to be was kind of a secret room uh, with a secret library and maybe some enchanting table up there or something like that. So uh, the first thing I did was I built it up in a circular pattern so that it could be kind of a combination lighthouse as well as temple. And then using more of that same color and using that same quartz as I used before, even though it's really not going to be seen from the outside, I decided to make the inside of the roof mirror some of the other things down below. Uh, again, like I've said, I like to make the supports work. So that if something gets blown up or blown away or carved into later, it, it really is the way that it should be in order to uh, function as we would expect it to in the real world. Well, you see me working quite a bit here on the roof, and the reason for that is that with the way that uh, stairs work now, it has a connected element to it that if you put it in the right place, everything will connect right up, so you don't have any hard edges next to each other. It actually looks like you would expect it to look. So uh, with just a little extra love and making sure that you do the same thing on all sides, it's really easy to have a roof that looks like it should. Now, I love this color, and so I decided that I would stick with it because it's one of the newer bricks, the newer uh, colors that's in the game, and so uh, it kind of reminded me of Spanish tile. Also, it echoed that red glass that we put in, so uh, it is the perfect look for the temple. And with that done, I kind of went around and chiseled out the sides to make sure that it all looked the way that I wanted it to, the shape that I wanted it to, had kind of that Mayan uh, pagan look about it, and yet also blended with a sort of Spanish Christian theme, and our pirate temple is good to go. Join me next time when we'll extend our pirate docks around the other side of the island, create a cannonade, and lots of places for the ships to dock.